today we're going to look at three different math functions in Excel and I recommend you study these because you're going to use them to analyze data in Excel. The three functions we're going to look at are SUMIF, COUNTIF and AVERAGEIF. Plus I'll look at a trick or two to do with named ranges and how you can assign them quickly. And there's a keyboard shortcut I'm going to show you which is this one. Control shift f3 I'll show you how to use it because it's really powerful. I'm going to use a SUMIF, COUNTIF and AVERAGE IF functions to build a spreadsheet where we're going to be able to select a salesperson in a drop-down list. So we select Ariana and we'll see lifetime sales which is all driven off this table here. I'll start off with the named range trick. Now you might know that if you press Control F3, it brings up the name manager. And as you can see, there are no names to find here. Now I'm going to define a whole load of names very quickly. I'll start here with salesperson. Press Control Shift 8 to select the current region. Then press Control Shift F3. And that brings up the Create Names from Selection dialog box. I just want the top row. Click OK. And now when I press Control F3, you'll see a whole load of names have been defined, which is really neat. I'll do that again just after I create a unique list of names. So I select all the salespeople, copy that paste them here as values and then because I'm in Excel 2010 I can use the remove duplicates feature here. Click OK and Excel tells me that 11 unique values remain. Click OK. Let's create another named range. Press Control Shift F3 top row, OK. And we'll use that in data validation here. So I'm going to allow a list and the source equals, and now I'm going to press F3 to bring up the paste name dialog box and select names. And what you'll see is a drop down that allows you to pick from these 11 different values. And let's put Ariana in for the moment. I'm going to label this criteria underscore one and change the formatting a bit, making it bold, italics, right aligned. And select those two, press Control Shift F3. I'm going to say right column. So let's create another name, a name called criteria underscore one. And we can start using that in formulas. So if we're going to work out total sales for Ariana, we use a sum if. I'm going to type this out. Equals sum if open bracket sales underscore person, the named range we defined earlier with the name range trick, comma, criteria underscore one, comma, sales, close bracket. And what that's going to do is, it's going to say every time that Ariana appears here in this named range, we want to sum the, the number here, which is the sales number, in this named range. Press enter, and you see $1,050,084 of sales. Next, we want to count how many months that Ariana had made sales in. And because this data is organized month by month, we can do that quite easily with a count if. So I'll type it out equals count if open bracket sales underscore person comma uh, criteria one close bracket. And what that does is says every time that Ariana appears in sales person, count that number of times. So press enter, you see 24. That's actually 24, which is two years 
of 12 months. Finally, looking at average monthly sales, we're going to use average if. So very similar to sum if, we say equals average if open bracket sales person comma criteria one comma sales close bracket average if if we go back to average if uh, we've got salesperson every time Ariane appears in salesperson count the sales and take an average of all all the times that Ariana appears and that gives an average of forty three thousand seven hundred and fifty four dollars and you'll see now because I've used these formulas I can select a different salesperson for example Brady and it'll show his total sales number of months that he sold and the average monthly sales now we have a nice little spreadsheet that does big company sales data using sum if, count if, and average if. Right, till next time, see ya!